you're gonna have to remember these formulas on these math problems. That's the only way you're gonna pass Dr. Harper class. No matter how much we do these algebra equations, I just can't get it. I don't know why you didn't call me over here three weeks earlier. I could have been got you ready. You're right, but it's too late for that now. Finals is two days away. Yeah, you're right about that. You're gonna need a miracle to get rid of this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm need you saying. to have more faith in me. Faith? You need faith in these numbers. Faith, four-leaf clover, a drop of blood, all that. You ain't right. <laughs> these problems ain't right. Come on. <laughs> Babe, how was the library? Surprisingly quiet, but I got my work done. That's good. Babe, you remember Quinn? Of course. Uh, hey, how you doing, brother? Hey, what's up, man? Just over here helping Karen get ready for these finals. Well, that's what good friends are for, right? <laughs> may, may I get you two another drink? No thanks, I'm full. I'll take one. Thank you. Well, it's good seeing you again, Quentin. You too. All right. Well, I'm going uh, to let you two get at it. I'm going to the back and take a nap while you're studying. Okay. All right. Okay. What a cool brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Now, uh, let me see you do this one. Thanks so much for coming by. Thanks. That'll be $20. Sure, put it on my tab. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. I'll see you. You up? Yes, I'm up. You don't look up. Girl, what do you want? Oh, um, mom told me to tell you that um, breakfast is ready. Okay, I'll be down in a minute. All right, we'll get up. Why are you so slow to get up? It's so, freedom is awaiting you and you act like you don't even care. It's just college. Just? College? Just college? Two years and I'll be out of here, okay? Then I'll show you how to live it. Ah. I'll show you. Oh, mm. yeah, okay. Slow it down, Danica Patrick. You don't want to live life too fast. Yeah, okay. Look, can you just get out so I can put my clothes on? Yeah, okay, whatever. Bye. What? Yes, I got you. <laughs> High school dance in the gym. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Take it down. Take it down. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Let his gun in the mom and dad. I have no idea. They seem to be happy about something. Yo, dad, what are we celebrating? Hey, baby girl, what you want to know? <laughs> oh my God. What are we celebrating? Oh, nothing much. Just show exit from the house. Then after that, wow. what? One more to go. Wow. And one. Uh, Woo! You guys are so rude. What so is wrong with very you? Rude. <laughs> Baby, your dad is just kidding. You know he loves you. Can y'all please <laughs> stop? Like, I feel like I'm on a Tom Joyner cruise. You hear that, Glass? 
Our baby girl is hating on us. Don't be a hater all your life, baby. <laughs> Yeah. Everything okay, Pumpkin? Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. Well, today is the big day. You're about to move in your own new dorm mm. room. I hope I like my roommate. Is that what you're worried about? I mean, yeah, it has been a while since I've had my own room. Everything mm -hmm. is gonna be fine, mm -hmm. baby. Just fine. I'm gonna miss you, sis. Oh, I'm gonna miss you too, sis. And I'm taking your room when you leave, so don't fight. Wait, mom! Handle uh, it amongst the two of us. Y'all packed uh, up, pumpkin? Yeah, Dad, my life is all packed up. New all right. beginnings. New hmm. beginnings. Well, I'm gonna load the car. You finish eating, we'll leave. Okay. My baby in college. How are you gonna get any school work done with all that noise outside? Pretty sure that's not gonna be going on when school starts, Dad. Yeah, so, okay, so where are the boys' dorms? Get out of that window. They come help your sister make her bed. All right, Stacy. I don't want your grades to slip, okay? And I remember your own scholarship. I know, I am a razor focused, Dad. Ain't nothing gonna get me off my game. That's my pumpkin. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi, I'm Stacy, your new roommate. Hey, Stacy, I'm Jasmine. Oh, nice to meet you, Jasmine. Cool. This is my father, Winston. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. And this is my lovely mother, Gladys. Oh, she's such a sweet little thing. Thank you. And I want you to take care of my baby. Now. Consider it done. And this is my troublesome little sister, Tweety. See, Mom, see, she's already misleading her roommate. Oh, I am so glad that the two of y'all will be apart for a while. Me, Me too. Well, beds made, bags are down. I think I got it from here, Dad. You, you kicking us out already. Now, are you sure you don't want us to stay and help you want back? Oh, yes, I am sure. Before you guys start to embarrass me, don't worry about it. I'll help her unpack. It'll help us start the bonding moment. And thanks, dear. And you call me before you go to sleep tonight. <sighs> okay, I will, Mama. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. Nice meeting you. And it was a blessing meeting you, too. Thank you, nice meeting you. You take care. Yes, ma'am. Hey, stay up, baby boy. Why well, I gotta be Jody? <laughs> it's cool. We'll do. Bye, pumpkin. Bye, daddy. All right. Bye, bye, Jasmine. Oh, God. Hey, Jasmine, girl, I'm so sorry about that. Sometimes my folks can be so embarrassing. No, they're so cute. It's like the cast of Blackish was in my dorm room. What? Really? <laughs> so are you from Houston? Yeah, actually I am. Where are you from? Modesto, California. What? That is like so far away. How did you even find out about Texas Central? Well, I was a four-year letterman in high school soccer and they recruited me. Plus, I always wanted to go to HBCU. You play any sports? Oh, no, 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 no. I write. I'm an English major. It's cool. So now I know who to go to when my term papers do. Yes, for about $20 a pop. How you gonna hustle your new roommate? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo, there's a back to school step show tonight. You down to go? I still have a lot of bags to unpack, so I might want to take it a little slow. On second thought, the bags can wait. Girl, I'm down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't wait.
my last round. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can tell me that's an apple's gonna be up in here. Man, apple. What you think about the phone though? Cheeky. A little choppy chop? Yeah, yeah. 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 Girl, with school, soccer, and uh, all these boys around, <laughs> I don't think so. I love you. <laughs> yeah, probably a little more, man. What, you think about pledges, Stacey? Oh, girl, no. If I do, it probably won't be this year. Girl, I've got to say focus. You do know if you stare him in the laundry, you can do it. Girl, shut up. <laughs> I was not staring. Yeah, okay. Come on, let's go get some drinks. I didn't know you went here. Yeah, I transferred here about a semester ago. Oh, yeah. Hi. This is my new Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. I mean, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, hey, ladies, I'm about to go step. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'm going to come watch you. All right, all right. I'll see y'all out there. All right. Good morning, scholars. I am Professor James. Allow me to tell you a little bit about myself. I was born and raised right here in Houston, Texas. I left here and went to Howard University where I received a double major in English and in business. And then I left Howard and came back here to Texas, right here to this school, Texas Central, where I got my master's and my doctorate. I put a lot into my education, so I expect nothing less from none of you. I only have two rules in my room. Make that three. First, there is no sleeping in my classroom. Secondly, respect each other. Third, don't ask for extra credit. This is not high school. The young man to my immediate right is now passing out the syllabus for this semester. So next Wednesday, I expect each and every last one of you to have your books. No excuses. You will see this young man periodically in my classroom because he's my graduate student. Hey. Benjamin Williams. Stacy Atwater. Yeah. He was at the, um, the Step Show last night, right? Um, are you following me? <laughs> No, just never forget a pretty face. <clears throat> Before you look inside of your syllabus, I'd like to inform you that this is going to be the only short day of the semester. So enjoy it. Class dismissed. So where are you heading next? Biology. Biology. Do you mind if I walk you to class? Sure, why not? Let me grab this bag for you. Thank you. So do you give all the freshman girls this special treatment? What? Oh, <laughs> see, that, that's messed up. What, a guy just can't be nice and have no motives? Mm, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh-huh, okay. So, I'm pretty sure you had a lot of schools to choose from. Why Texas Central? Family tradition. I had two cousins who went here in the 90s. And I really just couldn't see myself going anywhere else. What about you? Well, I mean, this school, it has a, it's great for TV and film, so hmm. that's why I'm here to learn how to write and direct films. Oh, so I might be walking with the next Tyler Perry. Hey, hey, now you might be. <laughs> Shoot, so you might want to be nice. I will do my best. <laughs> well, thank you for letting me keep you company. Well, thank you. It was very kind of you. 
And I appreciate it. Here's my car. Give me a call sometime. What? Ooh, fancy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Robert Rodriguez said every filmmaker should have a business card. Who? The director from Desperado? Dust the Dawn? Uh, look, don't worry about it. We'll talk about filmmaking another time. If you have time to fit me in your schedule. Mike can squeeze you in for a few minutes tomorrow. Okay, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey, Jazz. What it do? <sighs> Ain't that how y'all say it down here in Texas? <laughs> so funny. And then all you need is a powwow grill and a fitted cap, and you'll fit right in. How was your first day of classes? Your professor's cool? Well, yeah, first day was pretty decent. My professors were nice. They were cool for the most part. Yeah, they all seem nice till they drop a pop quiz on us. <laughs> well, you know what? That's why, ma'am, we got to stay ready. I already bought all my books from the bookstore. Yep. Let's go ahead and get to it. I did meet a guy. Only one? Girl, I got about 400 me already. Girl, okay. that's because you fast. But, I mean, anyway, he was different. Stacy, don't fall for the game. They all seem so different and deep. After. No, uh, he's the older guy. Mm. He's a grad student. I met him in my English class. Older guy? Yep. That might work. Is he cute? You saw him at the STEM show. Who? That guy you were staring at all night? Oh, ah! no, stop it. I was not staring. I was just staring. No, I was just staring. looking. But he, um, he gave me his card and told me to call him. What? He gave you his card? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Mm. He must have been watching that Milton Brothers movie, Do's and Don'ts of Dating. Mm -hmm. I know the game. Girl, open these books. First time I've ever been taken to a bookstore for a date. Oh, we never stop learning, right? Well, I guess. So what do you have me reading? Well, I noticed you like to wear African center garments. So I grabbed you a couple of African history books. Mm, how observant, thank you. And what are you reading? Oh, uh, books on filmmaking. So if you're nice to me, I might put you in one of my films. <laughs> Whatever. I'll make sure to keep you in line. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, three weeks, huh? What about three weeks? Well, for the past three weeks, every night you kept me on the phone before you, you agreed to go out with me. Well, I can't make all of my availability easy, right? I mean, you have good conversation. That's why I was interested. Oh, I'd have been gone a long time ago. Oh, really? Well, I guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should. My mom always did say I could talk a lot when I want to. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Hey! <laughs> so, did you date a lot when you was in high school? Uh, so that's where this conversation is going. Uh, quiet minds want to know. Uh, I dated a couple of guys in high school. Anyone serious? Mm, not really. <gasps> um... There was one guy that I was serious with. I was serious with him, junior year. But we broke up right before prom night. Wait, what happened? Basically, in a nutshell, I wasn't ready to do the things that teens do on prom night. Wow. So, he left you because of that? Yup. Hmm. Well, 
That's his loss. Because I never do that to you. We shall see. <laughs> well, enough of the 21 questions. Let's get out of here. All right. Hey, Stacy, wake up. Stacy, wake up. Hey, wake up. Oh, hey, Jess, what's up, girl? Just getting in from soccer practice. I know you're not slacking already in these classes. Oh, oh, girl, I'm up. Okay, I was just resting my eyes. Yeah, sure. Hey, this is my teammate, Tiffany. Hey, nice to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you as well, mm -hmm. Tiffany. <laughs> Stacy, you look wore out. You need that rest. Girl, I'm fine. I was just on the phone all night with Benjamin. You know how that goes. Mm -hmm. And I also know your daddy's gonna lay the smack down on you for running up that cell phone bill. <laughs> oh, Stacy, y'all must be in the honeymoon phase, huh? Yep, that's what they call it. <laughs> Well, you know, if you need help staying up, I know a guy with some pills. I mean, it's better than no dose. Um, thank you, but uh, I think I'm gonna take a rain check on that one. All right, girl. Hello? Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about you all day, too. <laughs> She's already <laughs> hooked. <laughs> but anyways, did you talk about Coach? Wow, you look great. Thanks, Jasmine helped me pick this out. Ah, I see she have an eye for fashion. Yes, she does. Yeah. Oh, I hope you don't mind taking off your shoes. I'm oh. trying to keep this place clean here. Yeah, uh, it's okay, I don't mind. Where should I put them? Right there by the door, it's fine. Okay. Look right this way. Thank you. So, oh, have you made any films? Yeah, yeah, I made a couple short films here on campus. Mm. You know, creating art is fun. <sighs> well, thank you for doing that. Because we need more people that look like us creating content for us. Indeed, thank you. You're welcome. Power to the people! Back at <laughs> right. So, are you close to your family? Yeah, we are real close. We pretty much do everything together. Mm. Come to think of it, this is the longest time that we have ever been away from each other. Really? Yeah. So what about you? Are you close with your family? Nah, not so much. You know, my dad, he ran out on us when I was about two years old. What? Yeah. So I reached out to him about a couple of years ago, but he kept us distant. Let my mom tell her he's a no good player. What? Dang, well, I'm sorry to hear that you had to go through that, Ben. Yes. Well, um, how are things between you and your mom? My mom? My mom's still trying to get over my dad. You know, she raised me to the best of her ability, but... But I look so much like my dad, she take all her frustration out on me. So, you know, when I finally see something that's worth having, I, I try my best to keep. And... Sometimes to a default. Well, you don't have to worry about any of that with me. If you don't like the grades you receive, then that means you need to step it up. You can make the grades up during midterms. Class dismissed. Except for you, Stacy. I said class dismissed. How do you make a C minus in my class when I know you can do better? I'm sorry, Professor James. I'll do 
Sorry is a game made by Parker Brothers. It's a game board. Do you like being played? No, sir. Then why this? Huh? What's going on with you? I, I just... I just gotta get more focus. I've been so tired. I'm sure that your parents don't want to hear any excuses. They didn't send you here to make any either. You tired? What's the difference between the Stacy now and the Stacy that was here at the start of the semester? I can handle it, Professor James. I just didn't think. You, I, you didn't think. You, you, you didn't I, think. You didn't even think. Do you know what it took for you to get into this classroom? Stacy? do you know what your people had to go through? What our people had to go through? Do you know what our ancestors had to deal with just to get us here? Do you know the bodies that were severed? The backs that were beaten? Do you know the ones that didn't make it just so you could get here in my classroom? Stacey, let me, let, me, let me give you a little bit of history. When God made man and called him Adam, but he put Adam to sleep and made him a helpmate. Because Adam didn't even know he needed help. You understand me? Eve was her name. But I'm going to treat you like Adam should have treated Eve when she got tricked by the devil. Because somebody's tricking you. Don't make myself clear. Yes, sir. Professor Get James. out of my presence. Yes, sir. And Stacy. Yes, sir. Have a good evening. <laughs> hey, what was that all about between you and Professor James? Oh, my grades are slipping, so he just wants to give me a pep talk. That's all? What do you mean? He wasn't brushing up on you, was he? I mean, you could tell me. No, of course not. He was just concerned about my grades. That's it. Okay. But I'm gonna have to double down on my studies for midterms, so I won't be able to see you as much. But I promise to call. I understand. Let's just make it count next time, deal? Deal. Trying to warn me about something? You got me watching this crazy movie. <laughs> no, I just like thriller films. <laughs> What's this called, anyways? The Perfect Wife. <laughs> the Perfect Wife. What a cliche. Shh, this is the good part. Whoa, whoa. let it rain. Oh, you always jump your son's your phone ring. Is somebody more important to me? No, it's not, but you know it might be Jasmine. So?
So, me, Jasmine, and Tiffany are supposed to be hanging out today. I mean, you know they're my girls. I always be with them. And what about me? What about you? I spend all of my time with you. I barely even get to see them. Lately, it's just been you and these classes. Okay. What's wrong with that? What do you mean? Boy, don't make me hurt you over there being greedy. <laughs> Look, you don't need to hang out with your friends. Wait. What? Are you joking right now? Look at me. I'm all the friends you need. Okay, so what about you? Don't you have friends? I'm like that rapper Zero. I only hang one day. Oh my goodness. What am I going to do with you? Oh. Yes. Mm. Dang, Stacy, you look good. Girl, where are you going? Well, thank you, girl. Benjamin is taking me out tonight, but he didn't say where. He just said that it's a surprise. Uh, now Jasmine is going to expect the same thing. Thanks a lot, Stacy. Oh, no, no, no. Do not put me in the middle of y'all two situation. But uh, step it up, bro. <laughs> Don't look at me. You say he was a grad student. I'm just a freshman. Holler me in five years. So is Benjamin coming over? Yep. Oh, great. So we finally get to meet him. Yeah, you've been hiding him all semester. <laughs> He's just a loner, okay? He just likes to be by himself. Mm. Hello. Hey. Thank you. Oh, I didn't know you was gonna have a pack house tonight. <laughs> Stop being so nervous. These are just my friends. And this is my roommate, Jasmine, and her friend, Anthony. Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, Hello. hey. How you and doing? this is my friend, Tiffany, and her friend, Eric. What's poppin'? Hey, Benjamin. I mean, hey. it's nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. <laughs> well, I, I hope it was good. <laughs> For the most part. You ready to go, babe? Yeah. Um, I thought you was gonna wear your hair down. You know I like it like that. Oh, yeah, I know, but I just wanted to go ahead and put it up so you, it won't be in my face. No, don't, don't worry about it. What was I thinking? Maybe I was asking too much, right? No, 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 it's okay. Look, I'll go change it real quick. I'll be right back. Can't complain. You don't think things are moving a little too fast? No. I think we're at a good pace. Does he have a temper? I seen him snap on you a little bit a few weeks back. I mean, I can tell that he likes things his way, but it's nothing I can't handle. Well, you know I'm here for you. I got your back, right? Yeah, girl, thanks. <laughs> oh, by the way, Tiffany's having a party next weekend. Can you come? Yes, girl, you know I'm there. Oh, and can Benjamin come? <gasps> yes, Benjamin can come. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. What's up? I'm taking Ben to meet my parents next weekend. What? Wow, it's getting serious. Do you even think your family would like him? Yeah, I think so. I mean, and then it's not like I bring boys home all the time to meet them. Hmm, I guess. Like I said, I'm here for you. You just let me know how it goes. Thank you, girl. You know I will. So, you ready for this next 200? Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Oh, look who finally came home to visit her family. Uh, Mom, that should be so dramatic. You knew that was coming. <laughs> Who's this you got with you? Uh, Mom, this is my boyfriend, Benjamin. Hi, nice to meet you. Mm, boyfriend? Yes. You and I got a lot to talk about, Missy. Okay, Mom. This is for you, Mrs. Gladys. Oh. Did I hear someone say boyfriend? 
Yes, Dad. This is my boyfriend, Benjamin. Nice to meet you, Benjamin. It's a pleasure, sir. Well, we're gonna take this party on into the dining room where my beautiful wife, Gladys, has prepared a delicious lunch. After you. So, Dad, what do you think? Fetch me a slice of pie. Is that how he talks to you? What the hell was that? Yes, Dad, that's just the way he talks. He doesn't mean anything by it. Stacy, I have to be honest, I don't like it. Okay? I think you should focus more on school. This relationship thing just seems too serious right now. I'm afraid it's gonna distract you and your grades are gonna drop. Yeah, the rest of your life, okay? Okay, Dad, I got it. Stacy, I'm serious. I know. Stay focused. All right. <laughs> Fit you a slap. I almost uh, punched him in his face. Dad, you were not gonna punch him. Yeah. I'm losing my mind. I think I'm going insane. Sometimes this is so I like cute. Sometimes I can't even yeah. say my uh. Are you sure about this? I don't want to seem like I'm the only old guy up here. Relax. Nobody thinks you're old. Oh my god, you made it! Happy birthday! Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Of course, you know I was not going to miss your party. Hey, bitch. Hey. You're looking all sharp. Thanks. This is uh, actually a nice party. Thank you. My girl Jasmine here helped me put it together. So you Jasmine. Look at you. Uh, I have a date after this. Okay. Okay. What well, do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jazz? Benjamin? Hmm. Look, look, I'm gonna go grab us some punch, all right? Okay. Uh, what was that all about? Uh-uh. Y'all are not about to ruin my birthday party, okay? Let's go get down on this dance floor, okay? Bye. Hey. Hey, what's up? How are you? I'm all right. How about yourself? I'm okay. All right. You having fun? Yeah, yeah. What about you? You enjoying the party? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay. Hell no. Girl, what you want to do? I'm sure it's nothing. He probably already knows her. Yeah, it looks like she knows him a little too well. I really see you here too often. Jasmine, just be cool. It's probably not even on it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, no, thank you. Who was that girl? Oh, that's no good. Hmm. Maybe it's his friend. Yeah. Friend, you're right. Look, she's walking away. It's cool. Nobody. Who is nobody? And why was her hand on your hand? Girl, don't be questioning me. What's wrong with you? You got a problem? Hmm? Yeah, that's right. Now look, in 30 minutes, we're ready to go. Cool. Come on, let's just have fun. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. Oh. It's your birthday. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Straighten up your face. Let's be great. Let's be great. Pencils down. That's it. Mr. Williams picks up your paper. You are dismissed. I'll have these papers graded by the start of your next class. three days and you haven't answered my phone calls. I'm only trying to say I'm sorry. Where you going? Mr. Williams. Yes, sir. Let me holler at you for a second, man. You do know I can get you kicked out of this university based on what I just saw, right? 
Yes, sir. I suggest you take you some anger management courses, sir. I can handle myself, sir. Oh, really? Yeah. There was a young lady in my class last semester, Karen Oliver. <laughs> she got hurt really bad. But she refused to talk to anyone, the police or anybody, about what happened to her. Now, you wouldn't know anything about that, right? <sighs> Control yourself, Mr. Williams, or leave her alone. I will get involved if I have to. You dismiss, sir. What do you want? I need to speak to Stacy. She don't want to see you. I have something important to tell her. Did you not just hear what I just said? Don't you have some thoughts to attend to? Man, look. I know I made a mistake, but I'm not leaving this door until I explain it to Stacy. Now get out of my way. Jasmine. Let him in. Ugh. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? For the way I've been acting lately. You don't deserve that kind of treatment. Right, I don't deserve that. Who was the girl at the party, Benjamin? Zanita Smith. She's an actress I had in a couple of my short films. Look, I didn't know she was gonna be there. Why did you just tell me that when I asked you the first time? I don't know, I was just acting stupid and, and selfish. Well, from where I was standing, it looked like something is going on between the two of you. I know how it must have looked to you, but there's nothing going on between her and I. You have to believe me. Why should I? Look, I want you to meet my mother. I mean, she's the only person that means a lot to me and my family. I mean, I must warn you, she can get a bit harsh at times. Y your mother? I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> say yes, please. Yes. You wanna go to the student center? Yeah, let me let me just get my purse. You have a lovely home. Do I? Yes, you do. Thanks for noticing. Benjamin, where'd you find her? She's cute. I told you, Mama. We go to school together. Boy, don't get smart with me. Now you watch your tone in my house. Uh, Benjamin is the professor's aide in my class. English literature, advanced. Advanced? Oh, so you one of those smart girls. <laughs> what you doing with my son? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, you always do like him young and smart though. Just like his daddy. Mama. What? That's... Oh, uh, Benjamin is also smart and kind. And he took me out for our first day to the bookstore. Now, how many girls can say that? Uh, not many. It sounds like a cheap date. Well, no, 
um, we also go to parties and step shows together. As a matter of fact, we're going to another step show this Friday. Well, hopefully he'll keep up the good work with you. I'm sure you'll keep him in line. Will do, Miss Williams. What kind of spices did you put in this gumbo? This, it tastes so good. Mm. It's just an old family recipe. <laughs> off your face. You don't feel that right there? And put the cloth around your shirt like I showed you. Yes, mama. Godliness is next to cleansiness. Cleanliness next to godliness, mama. I told you don't get smart with me. Like I was saying. Hopefully, he'll keep up the good work with you. Looking for somebody to pass this recipe down to. Seriously, though. How's my son treating you? I mean, we have our ups and downs, just like everyone else. Are you sure he's not kicking you down? You know what this you have a good night, Mom. Well, I guess y'all don't want the peach cobbler then. So how was dinner last night with uh, Benjamin and his mom? Let's just say, see where he gets some of his personality from. Woo, she was crazier than Benjamin? Glad I wasn't there. Girl, she was just so negative. I mean, not towards me, mostly towards Benjamin, her own son. Look, hurt people hurt people. What do you mean? I never told you this, but I was a victim of domestic violence in high school. What? Jasmine, I don't understand. You're so strong. I can't imagine somebody putting their hands on you. Honestly, I didn't see it either until it happened. I mean, you don't mind telling me what happened. I had a boyfriend in high school. So, in my eyes, he could do no wrong. My friends would tell me he had a drinking problem and dad not being there for him and he could be violent at times. Geez, I mean, did you even believe that? I mean, maybe, but I didn't see any of that when he was with me. So this one day, we were at a party. I was talking to one of my homeboys. We were laughing and joking. My boyfriend was drinking, of course. And he took the situation the wrong way. And he beat up my friend really bad. Well, what did you do? What could I do? I yelled, I screamed, I begged for him to stop, but he didn't. Then he took me in the back room, called me a whore. I told him I wanted to go home, but I guess out of frustration, he slapped me. Of course, he said he was sorry. He'd never do it again. Jasmine, did you take him back? I loved him. What could I do? I couldn't see myself with anyone else but him until it happened again. After that, I told my dad and my brother they went to pay him a visit. On. After that, he literally wouldn't live my way at school. Wow, Jasmine. Look, I'm not telling you to get some goons if this happened to you, but at least seek help of some sort. Thank you for sharing that with me. Of course. Babe. Hmm? You got a text message from Tiffany. Oh, okay, thank you. Get my phone. I got it. What's your code? Why do you want to know my code? Can I just please have my phone? What, we hiding things from each other now? I'm not hiding anything from you. Okay, so why you got a code on your phone? I don't have one on mine. 
You know why? Because I trust you. I'm not hiding anything. Tweety 108. Your kid's sister? Yes. Man, don't Tiffany got anything better to do? She got some studying or something? Man, she all hyped about this step show tonight. You'd be surprised. She studies hard. She made the Dean's List. She just parties harder. If you say so. Who is Simon Taylor? My math tutor. Why? Because he called you yesterday noon. Yeah, he was trying to see which part of the library to meet up at. And who's Kevin Smith? He called you a couple times on Monday. He is just my friend. Friend? Yes, we are just friends. Yeah, just a friend that I don't know about. Look, he's in my psych class and he helps me with my work and sometimes he just makes jokes. Jokes? What kind of jokes? I don't know. Just jokes. Oh, so he's a funny guy. You like funny guys? I don't know where you're going with this, but I'm not cheating. That's not me. Listen to me. You don't need no male friends. Man, you... Man, I tell you, you made me forget what I need to write. I'm sorry. Make yourself useful. Go fix me something to eat. I got a lot of errands to run. Okay. Now hurry up. Hey, babe. Hey. Why weren't you at the step show? Everyone was there. I had a paper that was due. Where you been? Uh, just around the campus with the girls. Did you forget? Cleanliness is next to godliness. Why are you always hanging with them hood rats? Jasmine is the furthest from her rat. And Tiffany? She just likes to have fun. Get up. Turn around for me. What are you wearing? Um. Huh? You look like you like to have fun too. Am I right? No, I'm not like that. <gasps> you know I love you, right? <gasps> you know that, right? getting ready. I'm gonna go ahead and fix your noodles. Yeah, you do that. Is he putting his hands on you? He's not hitting me if that's what you're asking. Not yet, but it's coming. You don't know that. Stacy. I told you about my situation. Physical abuse is most likely the next step. He has a good side to him. You just haven't seen it yet. And you haven't seen it in a while. Look, I'm here to help you, but you have to help yourself. I can change him. 
I can let him know that the relationship isn't working out how I wanted him to. He's a man. He's understanding. He's gonna be who he is. Oh, I have faith in him. Now I'm gonna talk and you're gonna listen. Really? What are you doing putting your hands on her? She's scared of you now. This little relationship ends today. Whoa, whoa. It ends when I say it ends. And besides, whatever she told you, I didn't do it. Only thing I did was talk to her and that was it. We both know that's a lie. Prove it. I will. Wait, wait a minute. What, what are you gonna do? Huh? Because I don't see her going to no cops on me. You know why? Because she loves me. I don't think she loves a coward, Benjamin. Because that's what you are. A weak, sorry, spineless coward. That picks on young girls. big mouth you have. Someone should teach you how to shut it. And who gonna teach me? You? Is that how you plan on teaching my friend Stacy? Look, I don't care about you. I'll put them laws in your life. Tell them what you want to tell them. You have no proof. It's your word against ours. I'm her man. I know what's best for her. And don't you ever forget it. If you knew what's best for you, you would stay out of her life. What do you say to me? You heard me. Are you threatening me? I'm just telling it like it is, boo. Karma don't play no games. Let me explain something to you. When I lay hands on Stacy, she understands. Yeah, she understands that I have to teach her. Yeah, yeah, she understands I have to teach her wrong from right. Teach her how to respect and treat her man. You see, I can tell your man haven't been treating you right. See, you got your head held way too high, baby girl. <laughs> you should bump it down to taste. Man, you a man? think so. You're a little boy pretending to be a man. You probably never even grew up with a man inside the house. You're a little boy who likes to throw temper tantrums on young girls. Isn't that right, Benjamin? Let me ask you something. Where's your mother? Hmm? Yeah, that'll explain a lot. Yeah, you got the right one. Because if you put your hands on me, you better kill me. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. For what? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Benjamin. Hey, how you doing, Stacy? Good. Can I speak with you for a moment? Uh, Kevin, this is my boyfriend, Benjamin. Oh, Benjamin, man. Look, pleasure to meet you, man. Heard a lot about you. How you doing, brother? I'm doing all right. Yourself? All right. All right. Uh, let me uh, talk to Benjamin. I'll catch up with you later, Kevin. Okay. I'll see you in class. Okay. Hey, Benjamin. Nice to meet you, man. All right. Must you continue to embarrass me? Now who the hell was that? That's Kevin. Who? Kevin, 
The funny guy I told you about this in one of my classes. Well, it looked like y'all, you just broadcasting your relationship to the public with this dude. I told you, he is just my friend. Get up, get up, get up. Are you okay? What? Look, now I told you, I'm your only friend. Now let's go. I don't know what I want to listen to. What the heck happened to your arm? Look, it's nothing. It's my fault. You better tell me what happened before I go to the cops. Ben asked me very nicely to stop talking to other guys on campus and I didn't listen. So what? That's called manipulative and being controlling. I know. Come on, Stacy. I know. I'm gonna go talk to the professor. I promise. You better, because if you don't, I will. And I mean that. Can't believe. Well, oh, good morning. This is the present supplies. Good morning, Professor James. I was wondering if I could talk to you about something. <laughs> sure, but if this is about your last grade, I'm sorry, I can't change that. You had quite a few grammatical errors. No, sir, it's not about that. It's about Benjamin and I. I've been dating your graduate assistant, Benjamin Williams. Yeah, I, uh, I'm aware. Well, we've been having a few problems in our relationship, and I just wanted your advice on it. What kind of problems, Stacy? Well, Benjamin and I have fun for the most part. We, we have a great time together. But when things just don't go right, when everything's not going well, it just gets so bad so fast, and... I guess what I'm trying to say is that I think he has anger issues, but sometimes he just can't control it. Is he putting his hands on you? Yes. Are you afraid of him? Professor James, I don't want to get him in trouble. Listen, if he's putting his hands on you and calling you bodily home, you know things can pro progress worse than that, right? And you shouldn't be with him. No. Stacy, I'm gonna give you a number. To a very good friend of mine across the hall. In the next building. You call her, okay? And she can give you the next steps that you need to take. Thank I really appreciate you bringing this information to me. Thank you so much, Professor James. Thank you. You gonna be okay, I promise you that. Okay. Call her now. I will. Okay. You wanted to see me, sir? Oh, yeah. First, you are no longer my graduate assistant. Do you understand? I don't want to see you in my class. I don't want to see you on this campus. And I definitely don't want to see you around any of my students anymore. You understand me? What? what, what where, where is this coming from? Mr. Benjamin, you put your hands on any young girls lately? Look, look, Professor. Whatever she told you, look, I can explain. Oh, 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 oh. ain't no need. I'm sure if I pick up my phone right now and call any of your ex-girlfriends, they'll all have very similar stories. Do you catch where I'm coming from? Look, Benjamin, listen to me carefully, Doc. Go get you some help. But get out of my class. You don't want me to get the laws involved. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Got it. And leave my credentials at my door. I'm about to hang up. For real, I am. Why didn't you hang up? 
<laughs> Why didn't you hang up? No, babe, you. Girl, if you don't get off that phone. <laughs> okay, babe, I gotta go for real. Yes. I love you too. I love you, I love you. I love you. Excuse me. Somebody's a hater. Please. Do you want to see my phone? I keeps a rotation. Well, right. I don't know. <laughs> What's up, Stace? How are you and Benji? Girl, not good right now. Speak of the devil. Is Benjamin at the door? Should I answer it? All right. What's up, Tiff? Hey. Jazz. <laughs> Hello, Stacy. Hello. Can we talk alone? Whatever you have to say to me, you can say in front of me. Man, you haven't answered my calls or texts. So what does that tell you? And I have something important to talk to you about. Can we talk in private, please? Look, you have five minutes. Professor James, don't you know I lost my interest because of you? Huh? Now you listen to me. Listen to me. Snitches. Snitches. You understand me? Huh? Don't nobody love you like I do. Look at you. You're fat. You're ugly. And you weren't that smart. No. Try not to move. Call the police. Okay. That's him right there. Excuse me. Wanna... Are you Benjamin Williams? Yes. This is Officer Smith. I'm Officer Johnson. We're from the Texas Central Campus Police. Show me some ID. May I ask why? <laughs> you don't know. Didn't you do your best impression of Ike Turner on your girlfriend? just yesterday. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Let me see your hand. Look, is this really necessary? From the looks of your girlfriend, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Now show me your right hand. I won't ask again. <laughs> oh. What happened to your right hand? I don't remember. He don't oh, remember oh, oh. So, so you don't remember boxing your girlfriend? Man, look, I, whatever she told you, what? I ain't do nothing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get him down. Get him down. Put your hands behind your back. You're being arrested for assault and battery. Really? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what? 
Mm-hmm. Come on, man, really? Oh, yeah, really. That's all right, I'll be out in the morning. Oh. Yeah, right. But yeah. tell it to the judge. Yeah. Pretty boy think he's gonna be out in the morning. Right. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Got me up at this jail early this morning. What if I had warrants? I tell you, you don't think about no one but yourself. Just like your daddy. I ain't do it. Yes, you did. Now you need to cut out all this foolishness and control your temper. You gonna touch the wrong girl and something gonna happen to you. Now go on, get in this car. Would you like some? Coffee or, or water? I'm okay. So, tell me, how are you feeling, dear? I'm just trying to get through it. Have you gone through domestic violence before? No. And I never thought that I would have to. Because I'm smarter than that. You are. You are a smart, strong woman. It doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Stacy, a lot of women don't tell anyone for months or, or even years. This is why I'm really happy that you did go to the professor. Uh, have you told anyone else? <laughs> no one else knows. <laughs> Besides my two friends at school, Jasmine and Tiffany. Why haven't you told your parents? I can't tell them. Hmm. My parents wouldn't understand it. They would never let me out of their sight. You have absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. But I do feel embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, after all, that is what family is for. I'm sure that they love you and care about you very much. And I would encourage you to talk to them. But what about my little sister? She's only 16 years old and she looks up to me. What is she gonna think? She would probably think I'm really proud of my big sister, for one. And she may feel anger or sadness, but mostly she would probably be relieved. Relieved? Yes, relieved. You see, I don't know if you realize this or not, but you are teaching her a very valuable lesson. Your courage is showing her what to look for in men like that in any relationship. I never thought of it like that. Stacy, do you think it was your fault that he put his hands on you? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes I believe that if I would just wear what he wants me to wear, everything would be okay. If I just bend to his will, then everything will be okay. Stacy, as a survivor of domestic violence, I'm here to tell you right now that Everyone, and I mean every single person, is responsible for their own behavior. They're accountable for their own actions and reactions. Especially men like Benjamin. I know his kind very well. But I want you to walk away today. I want you to know I, I need 
you to know that this is not your fault. It is not your fault. Okay? Okay. Say it. It is not my fault. This is not my fault. Say it again, Stacy. This is not my fault. Again, Stacy. <laughs> this is not my fault. And it's not, baby girl. It is not your fault, okay? Listen, um, I have a card that I want to give you. It's some information on here about a group for victims of domestic violence. I think it would help with your healing. Thank you. You're welcome. It'll be better. Have you seen this before? No. Yeah? What is this? See it? No, it's just like this. Sweetheart. What's wrong? I can tell something's bothering you. Is it school? What's going on? It's about Benjamin. Benjamin and you are not getting along. Couples do argue from time to time, baby. <laughs> it's grown to much more than that, Mama. He used to be so nice and, and considerate. And then he started to get upset and, and possessive. And he even wanted to know who, where, when, or why I need to hang out with my own friends. Wait, has he started putting his hands on you? I'm going to kill him. No, nah, baby girl, you're not going to do anything because I'm going to kill him. Wait, we don't need any family members in jail. We're going to let the police deal with this misguided soul. Why didn't you come to us? I thought I could handle it. I thought I could change him. You don't have to handle these things by yourself. That's what family is for. I'm so sorry I let you down, little sis. I'm learning just like you. You never let me down. You're so brave. You're my hero. We're gonna get through this together as a family. And I want you to know that you wasn't dealing with a man. That's a boy, a damn coward. I don't care how old you are. Anyone who preys on the defenseless is a coward. I'm just glad that you found out about him now, rather than years later, after a baby, and after he stole your youth. You're right, Mom. Stay here for me, baby, okay? Your family is here for you. It's gonna be okay. Good evening, ladies. Thank you for coming out. We have a new member with us today. Her name is Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Stacy. Hi. Thank you for coming out, Stacy. Who wants to share first? Demetria? How can someone that I love Beat me. He was my husband. I cooked, cleaned, ironed his clothes, and I even stayed with him 
after he had a baby outside of our marriage. <laughs> he had my mind and my heart. And he purposely fed up. Thank you for sharing, Demetria. Hi. Hi. I hope being here today helped you. It did, but I kind of feel bad because I didn't get a chance to tell my story. And everyone doesn't tell their story on the first day. And Mrs. Rose doesn't push you to. I was here about a week before I told my story. I guess it's similar to yours. Why would you say something like that? I dated Benjamin last semester. And I've seen you two hang around campus and I can only imagine what he's done to you. Did you go to the police? No, I was embarrassed to tell anybody my family and friends, they all loved him. He was so charming. But I had this one close cousin. She knew the truth and she saw right through him. How did you get him to stop? The last time I saw him, he beat me so bad. I just stopped answering the phone, text messages, but it took him about a month to get the point. And Tom, do you think we would ever be able to heal from this situation? I think so. As long as we learn from this relationship, we'll be all right. You're right. Hey, here's my card. Whenever you want to talk, just hit me up. Thank you. So I'll be seeing you here next Thursday. Yeah. And don't think I ain't see you talking to that dude in the cafeteria. Who, David? I told you, he's dating one of my line sisters. What? Babe, you, you really gotta chill. Watch your tone when you're talking to me. And slow down that walk. You're walking too fast. Stay on my head. And stop popping that gun. It's disrespectful. I'll give it here. Clean yourself up. And you better be here when I get back. I'm about to go to my car to get my biology book. Hurry up. What you want it for? Look, 
You get caught with this. You don't know me. Hey, it's already loaded. 